In this video, I will show you how to use branched line diagrams to solve genetics problems with multiple genes. How would you determine the expected offspring genotypes and phenotypes in a cross involving more than one gene? The more genes you add to the equation, the larger your Punnett square gets. Even a 16 square Punnett square can be unmanageable. Instead, let's use a branched line diagram. Let's say we have three genes, gene A, gene B, and gene C, and we want to predict offspring genotypes for this cross. To use a branched line diagram, we will need to know the probability of the offspring genotype for each individual gene. If we look at gene A, both parents are heterozygous, so if we set up a small Punnett square, we can see that one quarter of the offspring will be homozygous dominant, one quarter will be homozygous recessive, and one half will be heterozygous. Let's do the same thing for gene B. When we set up this Punnett square, we see that one half of the offspring will be heterozygous, and one half of the offspring will be homozygous recessive. And now for gene C. When we set up this Punnett square, we see that one half of the offspring will be homozygous dominant, and one half will be heterozygous. Now we have all the information we need to set up a branched line diagram for this cross. It will show us all of the possible offspring genotypes and allow us to calculate each genotype's probability. We start by listing the possible offspring genotypes for gene A. You'll notice that I'm listing the probability for each genotype alongside it. That will be important later. Now for each genotype I've listed for gene A, I'm going to connect it to the possible genotypes for gene B. So I will add in both of my possible genotypes for gene B here and here. And then for each genotype of gene B, I will connect them to my possible genotypes for gene C. So this is our full branched line diagram. And if you follow each path, you can see every possible genotype that could occur in the offspring of this cross. Now let's say I want to calculate the probability of having offspring with this genotype. Because these are each independent events, I will use the rule of multiplication, multiplying each of these probabilities together to get the answer. One fourth times one half times one half, the probability of getting this genotype in this cross would be one sixteenth. What if I wanted to know the probability of offspring with this genotype? That probability is one-half times one-half times one-half, which is one-eighth. So as you can see, a branched line diagram is just another way you can visualize multi-gene crosses and answer questions about offspring for that cross. That's all you need to know about branched line diagrams. If you'd like to review the rules of multiplication and addition, see my video on probabilities and Punnett squares.